Hello and welcome to another edition of Making Sense of Biology with me, Mr. Exum. This video is all about tropisms. So, what are tropisms? A tropism is a growth response of a plant to a directional stimuli. What that means is that if a plant detects something, then it might be able to grow towards it or away from it. It is much slower than other types of responses that some plants have, such as the Venus flytrap shutting sh uh, closed, or um, a plant called the Mimosa pudica, which can fold its leaves very quickly when it gets touched. This um, response is quite slow because it involves cell division. In order for it to grow in a particular direction, it's going to need to make new cells. If it grows towards the particular stimulus, then it's called a positive tropism. And if it goes away from the stimulus, it is a negative tropism. Here is an example of some crest seeds that have been grown on a windowsill. Um, they are all clearly pointing in one direction, which is towards the light. Now, this is an example of positive phototropism. Positive because it's growing towards photo for the light and tropism. When a seed germinates, the small shoot will come out of the ground and start growing towards the light. However, you may be asking yourself, how does it detect where the light is when it is still in the ground? Well, the answer to that is that it also can grow away from gravity. Plants can detect light, phototropism, and they can also detect gravity, which is called geotropism. The shoot is actually negatively geotropic. It detects the gravity and it grows away from it. The roots, as you may have guessed, are positively geotropic. They detect the gravity and they will grow down to hopefully find more mineral ions and water that they need. Some species of plants also um, show another type of tropism called hydrotropism, which is a growth response to water. The roots of the plants want to get as much water as possible and they grow towards it. So I suppose the question is now, how does this work? How does a plant detect these stimuli and either decide to grow towards it or grow away from it? Well, the answer to that is, is that it uses things called plant hormones or plant growth regulators. And the one that it uses for tropisms is called auxin. Here is the tip of a growing shoot. And the little blue line, the circles here, are the auxin molecules that you find at the tip of a growing shoot. And the way the auxin works is that it increases the amount of cell division there is and the amount of cell elongation there is. So in this area, at the top of the shoot, the tip of the shoot, the auxin is causing the shoot cells to divide and to elongate, and so that shoot is growing. As you can see, the auxin is distributed quite evenly over the tip of the shoot. However, auxin actually will move dependent on the light. So if we shine light in from this side over here, we will see the auxin move to the shaded side of the shoot. You can see here that the light has been shining on this side and the tip of the shoot, the auxin has all moved to the shaded side along here. This will cause this side of the shoot to start to grow faster than this side. If it grows faster than that side, you will see over time that the shoot starts to bend towards the light and positive phototropism has occurred. So if that's how phototropism occurs, what about geotropism? Well, it's a little bit different and it depends on whether you're looking at the root or the shoot. Now here in the middle of this diagram is a seed and this seed has just started to germinate and out of the bottom has come the baby little root and out of the top has come the shoot, the plumule and the radicule. 
and those are going to grow. Now, we want the shoot to grow up and out of the soil towards the sun, but there isn't any sun for it, so it's going to have to be responsive to gravity instead, because it's underground at this stage. And we want the root to grow down. Now, what actually happens is that auxin moves uh, with the gravity. So, the auxin will move um, to the bottom of the uh, root just down here, and to the bottom of the shoot down here. But it will actually have a different effect in both of them. In the root, it actually causes retardation of the growth. The cells stop dividing with the auxin, and it causes this side, the top of the root, to grow faster, uh, and it bends down. Whereas in the shoot, in the shoot tissue, it has slightly different effect. It will again increase the uh, growth rate and its cellular elongation rate, as we saw with phototropism, which will cause it to curl up. So that's the end of this short video on tropisms, and by now you should be able to understand that plants can respond to stimuli, that you should be able to give an example of positive phototropism occurring in the shoots, and you should be able to explain how roots and stems respond to gravity in geotropism. Thank you very much for listening, and visit my website, mrexam.com, for more biology resources.